Now use one divide by zero in real life application. Can you? Yes, let's have a look. But before that, we will have to do some preparation. So imagine that you are right here and you want to go uphill. Yeah. Here, let's say we have a horizontal road right here. One of the questions that we need to know is what's the slope of this hill? Or in math, what's the slope of this line? Well, let me remind you, to do so, we will have to figure out the ratio between how many times we go up or down and then how many times we move to the right. So the slope is how many times we go up or down. And some people call this rise. And then on the bottom, you will have to divide by however many times you move to the right. And some people call this run. So in another word, rise over run. Let's say in this situation, every time you move to the right two times, you will go up one time in that ratio. So two and one right here. In that case, the slope of this line is defined to be one over two. All right, good. Now, here's another way to describe how steep this hill is. We can look at the angle right here. Let's use the Greek letter called the theta, just like that. If you want to compute theta, you can just do the following. I will tell you theta equals, we will have to use one of the really powerful functions from trigonometry called the inverse tangent. So it looks like this. And then you just enter whatever the slope is inside. We have one over two inside. And now for this one, you will just use the scientific calculator. You will see that theta is approximately 26.6 degrees. Now let's talk about what if we are going downhill like this. And let's say here is the road. Now suppose each time we go down, we actually have to move to the right two times in order to hit the road. Like on the hill like this. In this case, because we go down, so it will be considered to have negative one. And then we still move to the right two times, so that's two. So the slope of this hill, as we can see, it's downhill, but we have the negative right here. It describes its downhill situation and then divided by two. So the slope is negative one over two. And if you want to talk about the angle theta, in this case, it will be more suitable to talk about it like this. Here is the angle theta. In fact, this angle and that angle are equal. And it will be the same answer, you will see that. The angle theta is still the inverse tangent of whatever the slope is. And then you will get approximately negative 26.6 degrees. And this negative right here describes the situation that we are going to go down here. 26.6 degrees. Cool. Now, I know, I think you know where I'm going to, right? Suppose you don't want to go up here or down here. Check this out. What if you are just right here and just want to walk regularly like this? We don't go up, we don't go down. In this case, what's the slope of this road? Well, let's see, we are not going up, we are not going down. Let's say we are just going to move to the right one time, like that. In this situation, the slope, because we don't go up, we don't go down. So the top number will be zero and the bottom number is one. So we have one divided by zero and the answer for this is zero. So whenever we have a horizontal line situation, or just a horizontal row situation, the slope is just equal to zero. By the way, you can also say we move to the right like five times or so, zero divided by five is still equal to zero. So we are good for that. Now, finally, this is the best case. You are right here, but you feel like walking is too boring. Here, you are gonna challenge yourself that you have a vertical wall like this. You want to go, to go up right here. It's like you're trying to be Spider-Man climbing upward. I cannot do it. I'm not Spider-Man. So here, 
how would you describe the slope of this line? Let's say we are right here. This time we are only going to go up. Let's say we go up one time. So let's compute it. The slope in this situation, because we go up one time, that will go to the numerator, but we don't go to the left or the right, whatever. We divide it by zero. Now what's one divided by zero? You know it, it's undefined. So the slope of a vertical line situation is undefined. Some people might say that the slope of a vertical line is equal to infinity. In this situation, I kind of agree with what they are trying to say. So I will just say, um, or infinity. Now here's the cool part. We would like to know the angle. Let's use the angle to describe it. We know in this case, here is the horizontal row. So vertical wall is perpendicular to the horizontal road. So this angle is 90 degrees. We can see that from the picture. But if you do this, if you say the angle theta is equal to inverse tangent of our slope, don't use one over infinity, but rather put down infinity simple like this. And I will tell you, if you enter this right here, you get theta equals 90 degrees. Here you have it. Hopefully it is right here.